Greetings, dear, precious, beautiful spirit soul that you are. I know I'd ever say the name Terry Cole Whitaker. That's a name. I have a lot of names. I have Gigi. That's my grandma name. I like that sometimes. I have Champakalata. That's my devotional name. Champu. That's a name uh, my very close friends call me and students are the same. Yeah, so, you know, Mom, that woman, Reverend Terry, um, Dr. Terry. Uh, why the, you know, if you have many names, why wouldn't the divine have unlimited names if names were what were needed? You know, it would always be unlimited, right? It seems to me. But anyway, my topic is this. Why I disowned my family. Now, you're going to go, oh, no. But I'm telling you, I love my family. That means those in, you know, same, you know, mom and grandma and, you know, how you do the bloodlines, all that kind of stuff. All right, that family. And always love and always wish them well in everything, all that they are. But by disowning means, I don't own them. And I don't own you, you don't own me, no one owns you, no one owns me. They can make you think that. It can appear that way, you see. But the problem with ownership, and I, I pulled up this, I got this book, Alibaba, it was in a um, a yard sale, real you know old some of the artworks, really cool. And and I you know I've studied different religions and all of that, and I see the good and there's value in all of them, really. You know if you know what to look for if you're looking. But there's also a lot of junk and a lot of lies, and it's also to create a religion. Religion is religion, and a le and there's almost like a lesion, which is also a fester. You know, I'm saying, so everything has plus and minus. Just you don't blunk it and throw out religion because you say, well, anything about religion I don't want, or anything new age, or anything Christian, or anything this or that, or that, I don't want it. Well, you know, um, you know, you blunk stuff like that. That's just a way to, to um, hide the real truth that that our, our our knowledge that resonate with all of us at our heart and liberate us from all of these veils of ignorance that we have been perceiving through a glass darkly so instead of being who we are so why i disowned my family was i realized how i had so many concepts about what that meant and I'm so happy I could give as much as I've been able to give in my life because so much has been given to me in every way and my joy and in the giving. And then expectations that didn't really have until you notice that those expectations don't get fulfilled. And instead of blaming people or hating them and being angry, why don't you just disown them? Set them free to be who they are and how they are and realize that whatever you need, you can manifest. You guys, you don't know how old I am. Or whatever. Well, that's you perceiving that you are age and that what happens with age is you become really stupid and you can't handle things and they're going to tell you you're going to be sick and this is going to happen and that's going to happen. And if, if you don't have this, then you're going to look this way. You know, blah, 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 blah. That's just, that's just a, a shoe convention. It's just about skins, appearances. And when we get uh, obviously caught up in all of what we've learned what family is, and expecting even a mate or a friend or anyone to be the way you want them to be, instead of perceiving them for who they really are, and also perceiving them where they are, choosing maybe consciously or not consciously, but usually not consciously as much, where they are in their experience, their reality, their world, their universe, whatever that is. And I disowned them. And in doing that, realize that I don't have a family. 
and yet I also have a family. And to really own my powers for who I am instead of placing responsibility on anyone or anything outside of my own relationship with my source, my divine, and how, what do you want to prove? You want to prove your mind is real and true or do you want to prove who you really are and to be that which is full liberation, always from the layers of ignorance and the full realization of who you are with no fear of any, of a, any kind which comes from the mind and the guilt and the emotional upheaval constantly. Don't go there. Stay centered in who you are. And when we disown, we liberate them. And yet some of them, you know, maybe they never want to talk to you again, and maybe you never did, not because you didn't like it, but you didn't have anything in common. You don't want to sit around looking in old uh, photo albums or videos of how we used to look and where we were. Where are you now? And when you're there, the impossible is possible, you see. And you can love them and let them be, and you're choosing now, instead of living a lie, instead of all the games, and that's the problem, being a game player, because games have losers and winners. This is set up. Mm -mm. You don't need to play a game when you know how to live in the true divine reality of being who you are, you see. You say, well, when I die, really, you dying? Oh, it's too bad. Anyway, <laughs> you know, you're choosing it, you see. So when I disown them, I disown you and I disown others. And you take a look at how many people we think we need to own. These are my people. It's my this, my doctor, my this. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. And you have to have it because it's yours, my stuff. I started looking, there was some internet video of the 10 most protected residences and how these people are in so much fear with all electronics and stuff to make sure, what, nobody bumps them off and steals their stuff. Whoa! And then you joke about a homeless person with a shopping cart What's the difference? You see. It's a difference in perception. And when you take a look at the way it was, there was a story in the Vedas of baby, um, I think it was baby Krishna. He ate some dirt. And his mother said, oh, honey, you can't do that. You should eat this. He said, well, what's the difference? It's all made of the same substance. But she had to explain to him, well, yeah, the dirt and the food, they're made of the same substance but they also have a different designation for what they can do and what they're able to do. So when you perceive that truth and that reality that is there uh, behind all that is in this reality, you know also that this is a virtual reality, but however you make it real is because you are here being in the spiritual realm now because there is no future or past. It's now. So when I disown them, I set them free and without expectations, and yet I can be true to how I feel and who I am. And, and isn't that great? You see, now that's beautiful. And then the relationships can be based on truth and honesty, not on nostalgia, yeah. not in all of that. Stop it. Honor yourself and honor them by you being true to who you are and to appreciate and acknowledge they are being true to where they are in their relationship with the divine that is not your business. And if you've made them your God, then this is what you're experiencing. That's the false. 
the government's a false god. The, this is a false. It's the, uh, what's the idol? These are false idols. The celebrities are the false idols. Your own false ego, your false idol. No. Mm -mm. If there's a false, there's the real. You see. Yeah. So when you disown, set them free. And uh, you are too. And to be really who you are. And now you love more than ever before. You have more compassion, more caring. And yet you're not carrying the burden of all of this stuff. And have to tolerate it. Be there because it's expected. Miserable and blah, 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 blah. Let's get free of our, that now. Right now. 